Hello, welcome to my workshop. I'm Igor and uh, in near future I will test three printing uh, bolts and nuts from M3 to M12. But uh, first I have to clear a very important question and uh, that is to find out is the vertical position best for 3D printing treats or maybe horizontal or uh, position under the angle results stronger bolt. Of course if you need a standard uh, bolt it's much better to use a metallic version. But uh, with 3D printing you have this uh, treat part of your object. And uh, I'm using it very often. Uh, but I always try to make create a design where I will print the treat in a vertical position. Everybody in the internet is advising this because with this we can avoid using of the support. But again I have that feeling only so far because I'm recording this beho before all my tests that uh, with this we have that uh, weakness of the layer adhesion. I would like to see if I need a little bit stronger treat what is the optimal printing position. Let's see what type of the loads I have to test. First, if I place a nut on one side and screw in the bolt from the other, when I'm tightening the bolt, I have to apply a torque. So this is the first type of the test, measuring the torque. And then tightening of the bolt will result inside the pulling stress. My next experiment will be the measuring the pulling force or, or maybe the mass. And the third type of the load I want to measure is the shear stress. That's not too common with the metallic bolts and, and uh, screw nuts, uh, because uh, if we tighten it very strongly, there is very bit friction between them. And if I apply a shear force, the friction will hold it strongly in, in uh, one place. But uh, plastic we cannot tighten so strongly, so in this case the objects will uh, move a little bit and uh, it will apply a uh, shear stress to the bolt. If you are cutting uh, paper with a skeezer, you are using a shear stress. So in my third test I, I will measure the stress test, where will this uh, bolt or not uh, break. I really hope that <laughs> the there will be not big difference between the bolt in the vertical position and uh, for example in horizontal position because I really enjoy 3D printing treats without using a support so for me that's very important uh, if the difference is not big then uh, that's the primary position for my printings uh, when I am printing uh, treats inner or outer version okay let's break some plastic In Fusion 360 select the cylinder and then from create menu choose the thread, select the modeled version and uh, there is it. Uh, we have the thread ready for 3D printing. If you need a standard element from insert menu, uh, choose the board with the, for example with the hexagonal head. On the left side you have different filters, let's say uh, we, I want metric M10. Uh, this is the material quality, fully treated, 20 millimeter long. And then we have the shorter uh, list here. Uh, choose the product number. And then click on product details. And then on bottom of this page, uh, click uh, the 3D step and uh, click save and the object will be inserted in Fusion 360, you can move it, rotate it and uh, there is it, ready for 3D printing. This is the print preview in Prusa Slicer. Well, here you can see the parameters, but I will calculate separately for one bolt the printing time and the material. And same I will do with the, these objects, but here I need uh, the custom support too, because I didn't have enough grip between object and the printing plate. So, and you can see a lot of supports I need here. And this is print preview.
Here you can see a lot of stringy because I raise the temperature as much as possible to get the strongest layer adhesion and the uh, strongest port for testing. So these are those bolts, uh, these three are printed in vertical position and they are almost ready to use straight from the 3D printer and these three are printed in horizontal position. Here we have to remove those supports and uh, some additional cleaning of the thread, at least with the nut but uh, better is the die threading tool. And these three are printed in 45 degree angle. Well, here we have to remove uh, the supports and also with the pliers removing those custom supports. I have to clean it a little bit because it has to go inside the wrench. Well, it's in, okay. So these printed in vertical position are uh, almost ready to use except uh, I didn't left here any uh, clearance usually I add on this size 0.1 millimeter of clearance because uh, I want to have same size because I want to go over each with this uh, M10 die tool but usually these in vertical position are almost ready to use I even now the nuts So let's clear these uh, bolts. To get same dimensions I will use the M10 die. And then I will have the same dimensions of each and then I can do the test. And now after cleaning with the M10 die tool, theoretically they have the same dimension and now let's see what will they do on the stress test. position Additional 30 kilograms. Oh, yeah. I need smaller boards. This one is printed.
broken three pieces. The horizontal position. Print it under the angle. Next one, horizontal. Way different. Okay, I think something happened. Yep. Sounds printed on the bangle. Yes, broken up. My teachers always told me to calculate twice and measure once. <laughs> Boy, they were right this time. So, for example, for M10, uh, I found on Simplified 3D that uh, ultimate strength where the PLA will break is uh, 65 megapascals. 65 megapascal it is 65 newton per square millimeter. And if I calculate with the diameter of 8 millimeter, which is approximately M10 without the thread, so the area is uh, 8 square multiplied p divided by 4 and from this I can calculate the force and if I uh, divide the force with the g I can get the maximal weight theoretically so 333 kilograms so <laughs> uh, no wonder it, 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 uh, it doesn't break on my test because I had maximal 140 kilograms Okay, let's see the M6, uh, same calculation, but of course with different area. And I can calculate that it is 119 kilograms. So theoretically this should break on my test. I printed M6 and uh, I will do the test only to compare vertical and horizontal position in this pool test. So let's see this.
Calculate twice and measure once. All results from the test are summarized in this Excel table and it's obvious that bolt printed in horizontal position is much stronger than printed in vertical position but uh, let's don't forget that in this case we need uh, supports for this printing. It will be a hard decision which one to use in the future. The conclusion. So what we learned from this video, well, first of all, I'm overweight. I even checked my BMI index on 10kg.org website. It's horrible. But beside that, it looks like the 3D printed bolts in horizontal position are much stronger than those in vertical position. Which I'm not happy about it, but because with horizontal position, as you saw, we need some supports. So which one to use? Well, if you are using uh, the bolts or these trees just to hold two pieces together without big load, then you can use it in, in printed in vertical position. But if you are expecting a little bit bigger load, uh, then it is much better to print them in horizontal position. How big load? Well, wait for my video uh, where I will test uh, from M3 to M12 bolts and uh, that will be approximately information for us how strong they are. But uh, this a small disclaimer, before you run out and change the bolts on your car tires, don't forget that this is plastic. Better the PLA, it, is, uh, very, uh, it cannot handle high temperatures and of course the wearing of the uh, plastic is much faster. And also with this equipment I could measure only the ultimate strength or the friction point, but it would be much better if I could measure the yield point because that's the elasticity level. On the yield point, if I remove the load, the, theoretically the test probe should uh, get its original size. And also, my next video will be similar to this one, uh, where I am testing the optimal position for 3D printing screw nuts. I believe that the result will be a little bit different there, but um, follow me to that video too and uh, we will see. Thank you for watching and happy printing!